TF World Tour Grand Finals coming to you live from Incheon, Korea. I'm your commentator, Adam Bobro, and we're getting into the round of 16 men's singles right here with Timo Bowl. One of the all-time legends of table tennis is right now, well, what seems to be at his prime. He's 37 years old. He was world number one in March. He's the oldest ever world number one, currently world number three, and is just incredible to watch. And his opponent, 22-year-old Leong Jing Quinn, world number 36. They put on a spectacular show last time they played. The China Open in 2018, it was a four to three victory for Leong Jing Quinn. And one of the two best points of the year, in my opinion, Xu Xin won the star point of the year, an award that he had been waiting for for a long time and well deserved. But one other point that was a very close contender was between Timo Bol and Leong Jing Quinn, where Timo Bol switched hands and hit a crazy fanning shot. One of my favorite points of the year. And the year isn't over yet. So as we get into this best of seven match, remember it went 4-3 last time. And the world ranking of Liang Jingquin is not an indicator necessarily of his skill level, but how he's performed on the world tour throughout his career. This year so far, he's done quite well, just winning the Austrian Open, beating Fan Zhendong. Very few players have been able to do that, including Timo Bol. Have to look back to see if he's ever beaten Fan Zhendong. I'll get back to you on that in a bit. And as he gets into his playing gear, Jorg Roskoff in the corner, two-time Olympic medalist, a man who paved the way for four professional table tennis with Stefan Fetzner in Germany not long ago. And speaking of legend table tennis players, Liu Guojung right there, who saved China against South Korea. The World Championships, the Team Championships of 2001 against Kim Tak Su. What a fighter, what a staple for the Chinese team in that event. Li jong from Korea. Our umpire for the match. Very friendly, kind spirit. Always good to see. And Kim Kyung Hee, our assistant umpire from Korea. So, we have an exciting match on hand right here. I love looking at the bracket just to see again with five Chinese men in the draw. Timo Bull, one of the greatest threat to the Chinese national team right now at 37 years old. What a crazy thought. Think of the oldest player representing China right now. I mean, if you count Zhang Jiko, he hasn't played since Japan. But even still, what, Ma Long at 30 years old? So, seven years senior to that. And still, he's been beating players all the way from, what, Shui Fei, the Czech Republic, the Czech Open, to Ma Long himself and everyone in between, pretty much. So the third seed, Liang Jingquin has gained a lot of points this year, late in the year from his results. Very aggressive, very strong. Jun Mizutani signing some autographs, taking some pictures in the background. It's usually a good sign. Look at the trajectory of this ball from Timo. His technique is different than anyone else's. It's quite fascinating, but he has so much feeling and such innovation in his game. He really is having fun with table tennis and it's clear watching him play. It's just such a pleasure. I hope he plays, I mean, as long as he possibly can, and I know that I'm not alone in this, but every time I watch him play, I think to myself, I'm so lucky to be able to see it. Yang Jinquin stretching out the quads there, lower back as well. He's a very aggressive player. Now, in terms of nicknames, many know that Fang Zhendong, the ITTF 2018 Male Star of the Year, is known as Xiaopong, Little Fatty. Da Pong, the nickname here, Big Fatty. Yang Jinquin to start. While he is a bit bigger, he's clearly very physically fit. Powerful force on the other side. Had a chance to catch up briefly at lunch today for the first time in a while. And his aggressive play is going to be quite tricky in general. It's the reason he was so effective in Austria, but not just the powerful play. If it were only for powerful play, you'd see Fang Zhendong beating Ma Long every time they play. The Timo Bowl, a little bit more of the Ma Long skill set. Whoa, that's <laughs> a surprise. Timo just tossed the ball back to the assistant umpire. It looked like he was hit in the back of the neck by the ball. <laughs> Love to see that from a different camera angle. Someone captured it. Quick pace here, Liang Jingquin deep to the corner. Now, one thing that's made Timo Bowl so threatening 
to the Chinese national team over the years is his timing, that he takes the ball early from close to the table. Just missing the contact there. A good long push, but it didn't bother Liang Jinquin. First towel break, Liang Jingquin leading 5-1. to one. one thing I will say about Liang Jingquin is that I've been very impressed with how complete his game has become. Now, while the ball disappeared from the camera angle, remember, it's from Timo Boll's eyes. If he's able to see the ball the whole time until it's contacted, then no problem. Assuming it's tossed nearly vertically. Satisfies all the other rules of service. Which there are many. Almost making it come down. Very difficult ball. Good hands. Soft hands from Liang Jinquin. A lot of players misread that reverse pendulum serve. T-Mobile very close to making that shot count. Left. Six, two. Talked about how complete Liang Jinquin's game is. Obviously, it's not fully complete, but it's definitely moving in the right direction. His ability to deal with side spin to play the short game, getting stronger and stronger. Three, seven. And in the meantime, if he misses every once in a while, going aggressive, no problem. Still making a very high percentage of his aggressive shots right now from in near the table. Oh, Timo to the short side. That was a difficult ball. Very underappreciated shot. Rossi knows how tough that was. Liang Jinquin played it way wide into that backhand corner. A bit of vocalization. Team Mobile back within 2 5. The Yosa come on. The reverse pendulum serve. He can generate a lot of underspin on that serve. Seen a lot of players dump it into the net. The grip of Timo Boll on the racket. So many times you'll see it change in the rally. Oh, wow. Open table on the backhand side. Liang Jinquin finds it from a very uncomfortable spot. Played wider and wider. Almost runs Timo Boll into the camera angle here. There's the inside out forehand. This is where we see Timo switch hands. Racket in the right hand. He can scoop it up, keep it in play. Get one more shot out. Timo says, I don't know. Five, Tough to nine. say. I think that was his look of, eh, maybe not. Close. <laughs> Liang Jinquin confirming it was side. Six, There's nine. the underspin on the reverse pendulum. Liang Jinquin's in good company, having returned it into the net. Seems likely to happen again throughout the match. That being said, I think we'll get some popped up serves. Let six, nine. Timo can disguise the reverse pendulum well. A little break off Ten, the top of the net. Six. Liang Jinquin earns himself four game points to take the first in this best of seven. I've seen Timo Bull lose a lot of first games, come back from behind. Two times against Tomo Kazu Harimoto, he lost the first and then not another. And deep with some side spin on it. Liang Jinquin puts the pressure on and completes game one 11 to 6 for a solid performance to take the first game. We'll be back for game number two. Liang Jinquin versus Timo Bowl. It's the rematch. Game two coming up after this.
Players back for game number two. Leon Jinquin in the lead. A very solid start. 11 to 6. Quite in control against Timo. High speed. Quick counters off the bounce. Receive game not too shabby. That's tough to deal with. Good long push to set up the quick rally. Opening attack. Leong Jinquin very decisive. That person in the back lost her head for a moment. I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> Optical illusion, I think. Leong Jinquin fan club in the crowd. So what's it going to take for Timo? He can mix things up quite well. A little bit of side spin on the receive, dangles it off the forehand side, but the following counter attack is missing contact. The Ong Jin Quinn's been very comfortable from that position, not so many are. Solid opening forehand from just behind the table. Timo's forehand, I think of his very slingshot, like the way his elbow comes in near the body, sort of a traditional European elbow. One, four. Uh, Saw the apology there from Leon Jin Quinn, a little bit of frustration from Timo. Timo Bowl was the ITTF Male Player of the Year last year. Five, it was quite four. impressive considering Ma Long was nominated and Dino was nominated, having taken four titles and the Men's World Cup having beaten Timo three times during the year. <coughs> Seems to be slightly miscalibrated here. Timo makes these shots quite a lot. Leong Jin Quinn's no easy opponent, but Timo's handled. Six, one. So not exactly the start Timo was hoping for. Oh, what can you do against that? Much better receive here. Timo goes out to the forehand. The ball comes back so quickly. Leong Jin Quinn, no hesitation. Not a room for, not even room for Timo to breathe in this point. Nice after motion from Timo. Deception on the serve. You can see the racket follow through after a different direction than the way he contacted the ball. Guy lobs from Timo. No, second one doesn't come down. Oh, caught the net there. A bit of fortune for Timo. Definitely wanted to bend the ball inside out anyway. Seen Leong Jinquin do some lobbing, I think even against Fan Zhendong quite impressively. Well, well, that's not typically to your advantage. It still does show some comfort for me. If you're not doing it every point, showing that you're not afraid to get put behind the table, play a little bit defensively. I've seen Fan Zhendong lob to some of the best in Chinese Super League. Look how deep to the corner this one is. Just out of reach. Left, four, eight. Left, four, eight. <coughs> A quick reaction four, from Timo, and even quicker back in response. The Jin Quinn to the short side covers it, closes out down the line. Yang Jinquin not leaving too much room for improvement in terms of receive game right now. Just in response to almost everything Timo's brought, he's found a better answer. Six game points for Liang Jinquin to go up 2 0. Eleven, four, 
game two will be 11 up. to four, there it is. I was wondering if it caught the back edge of the table, but neither player responded. The score was announced, so there it is, 11 to four. A total of 10 points between two games for Timo Bowl. We'll see what happens in game three and what he can change. Game three, coming up right after this. Warten nicht so viel auf diese halblangen Sachen. Ja. Da bleibt sehr kurz wie der Ball dann. Ja. Da bist du auf dem Schläger und am Tisch und kannst dann nicht mehr so Druck aufbauen dann. Ja. Einmal so einen kurzen Rückgangsspiel, ja. da, da hat er sich direkt verlaufen, das war okay gewesen. Und sonst gerne den Ball ist und dass du auch ein bisschen so in den Ball und dann kommst, dass du ein bisschen in die Spannung reinkriegst dann. Ja. Das ist das Wichtige jetzt immer, dass du läufst, dass du dann in die Ballwechsel reinkommst. Ja. Wenn du so unsicher halt, kommt ein Rückhand. Back for game number three, Liang Jinquin in the lead, two to zero with the serves. One. Pulled once Go. again, Liang Jinquin very flexible and unpredictable with that backhand. It's not an easy spot to play a parallel shot. How often do you see Timo fooled on a serve receive? Probably the proudest moment of my life. Yes, Come on. One, two. Take another look here. Push game, thumb tucked. His backhand generates so much spin, but it doesn't land this time. Three, one. Hmm. Timo hasn't gone to the backhand serves. Tends to be more later in the match thing. Four, I'm one. so impressed with Leong Jin Quinn in the rally right now. I mean, he's gotten some time on the world tour. In the past two years, we've seen him here and there. Outside of being one of the top three players or part of the big four as it used to be called. Five. Oh man, that one, shot right five. there. Flashback, hashtag Wang Li Chin. Inside out forehand from down low near the ground. I was gonna say that, okay, big four, let's, let's include Lin Gao Yuan to make it the big four. Who from the next generation? Lin Gao Yuan, Fan Zhendong, Liang Jinquin. Seems like a strong candidate Play. right now. One, five. One. This is tough. I mean, for Timo, he's been magic. For the past two years, we've seen him do things that are just unbelievable. Forehand flick from over the table to get a point. Still a long way to go. He was down 1 6. Just one more point to the small collection. Timo protecting in case it catches the back edge or if he needs to drop shot. The timing wise, Timo Bowl is often quite threatening with these off the bounce shots, but he's just not making the shots that he's used to. I mean, we've heard him a little bit out here. Frustrating experience. Almost comes Three, down on the seven. table, still off the net. Slower spinny shot, the rhythm breaker from Timo on the parallel right down the line. Okay, starting to see some human moments here from Liang Jinquin. Good pressure from Timo. Hangs in here for the big opening backhand. Gets slightly less wrist action, less spin and speed. Seven, five. Second towel break and Timo's back within. Just within two points, suddenly it feels like could go either way. So four out of the last five points, is that right? Yep.
Long Jin Quinn pacing around, taking his time. Wouldn't be surprised if he gets a warning to play. Let's seven to five. An outstanding Five. shot. I mean, Timo played it well short. They were playing the short game from over the table near the baseline. Leong Jinquin still able to put the pressure on and win the point outright. Oh, so dangerous. He's just so dangerous. From anywhere on the table right now, Leong Jinquin's able to finish a point against world number three. Four-time world number one, record breaker Timo Bull. Five, Timo eight. starts to turn for the forehand. Leong Jinquin recognizes it, plays it down the middle. Tactically, Leong Jinquin playing even better than I've seen in the past. Very difficult shot, still almost made it. Timo spins it low to the net, down the middle. The fact that Leong Jinquin played that unafraid. Oh. What confidence, what high level of play. Ten, seven. One game point saved, still three to go for Leong Jinquin. Timo fights, but it does not work out. It is a three to zero lead. The best score yet from Timo making seven points. But we will see what happens. Not a lot of time to turn things around and Leong Jin Quinn in such incredible form right now. Game number four coming up right after this. So back for game number four. As strong as Timo Bowl is, right now it's almost tough to imagine the way he's been playing. The scores have been what they've been. Liang Jinquin on fire right now. One low. First of the commentator here, Timo with a spinny ball that stays low, gets under the racket. Timo from behind the table gets into the mid-distance counter loop rally. On both wings, he's strong. His backhand tends to have a lot of side spin. Forehand, as many left-handers are, is unpredictable. I think Shushin might be the best example of never knowing which side spin is going to accompany the top spin on a forehand loop. Timo with the start like we haven't seen yet. Takes the first three points, quick off the bounce into the rally. Different level of focus, using his opponent's spin very well from on top of the table. We'll break off the net there for Leong Jin Quinn to get his first point this game. Now in this rally, we saw Timo slow it down a little bit. Typically, we don't see many Europe, uh, European players out speeding the Chinese national team. Wow. Top of the net, but no table, and Timo continues to extend his lead back up by three. Oh. 
Long push to get into the rally, and Liang Jingquin with a devastating backhand to finish the point. Where does this come from? It's tough. Let's watch one more time here. Soft touch, one backhand. Second one, he barely had any backswing. That looked like a short punch. It still had the spin of almost a loop on it. City, full. That service, they'll play that again. Oh, touched his chin. So Timo's point. Five, two. Good fair play by Liang Jing Quinn. Timo very calmly five. handling it. Leading five to two now, so two serving five. I naturally just said let because typically what happens when someone points over like that, some confusion. A lot of serve tosses in near the face, a lot fall behind the head. This one hits the chin. Another break off the net. So as far as I can recall, at least two of the three points Leong Jin Quinn is one of involves him having a little net on the last shot. Timo still leading by three. Oh, perfect placement, Leong Jin Quinn out of reach. Timo stuck on the backhand side of the table. This is one where you want to see it again just to see how far out of reach it was. It's one of those points where if Timo had a hand to switch to that would have helped him, and we've got the timeout here. He would have switched. So he'll head over to the corner to talk to Rossi. Another Time legendary left-handed player. Still playing quite well. Sparring with Timo in the practice hall when he can. Warming him up. So Timo Bolt can do almost anything. The question is, what is going to stop Liang Jing Quinn? It's tough for me to hear anything here. My German, not so amazing anyway. So, trying to read the body language often. And, and also go back into the think tank about what it is that has gotten Timo the lead early on in this game. He was up 5-2. Quick rallies, mid-distance counter loops. Short strokes near the table, placement. And by placement, I mean something quick, either wide out maybe to the forehand or in on the body. Another break. Oh. We'll net in the push rally. Now Liang Jinquin tied up at six points apiece. But remember 5-2 for Timo after the chin on the serve toss. Big point for Liang Jinquin. Tight serve on the pendulum, bottle challenge style. That's where a lefty would serve to a right-handed player, right down the line, curving out near the net post. Left, seven, six. Left, seven, six. I was impressed that he hit it down into the table so quickly and confidently on the first lead. A lot of pressure, oh. Timo trying to make the forehand flip kill and the step around there. You can feel his disappointment, the frustration of, ah. Exhales, stress, tries to breathe in some confidence and fresh air here. Tied up at seven points apiece. Yeah. So we're spinning your ball here from Timo and Liang Jingquin miscalibrating, closes a bit much. To the racket for Timo from behind the table. Once he got into the rally, I thought, decent chances. He's very strong in the mid-distance rally. Leong Jin Quinn with a little bit of extra pace, though. Good timing off the bounce. Second one a little lower, but a whole lot of spin. 
let eight or nine. Ooh, bottle eight. challenge once again. Deep into that backhand, and Timo up by one. Fighting to stay alive here needs to win this game. Leongjin Kuhn with two nets in the same point, and finally a shot drilled into the chest of Timo. That is tough. I don't remember how much fortune before this, but let's see. First, recovered. Second, aya. So nine points each. Last two serve combination this game we'll see. Could be the match. Quick rally and Leong Jinquin earns himself match point right here for a four to zero victory over Timo Bull. There are a lot of different signs to the coaches of the Chinese national team, to Leo Baba, Liu Guo Liang, president of CTTA now, about experience under pressure. Leong Jinquin, if he wins this. Not yet. Contacted the hand maybe? Missing the short game, good touch from Timo, and here we are at Deuce in game number four. I was gonna say beating Timo Bowl is definitely on that list of foreigners that matter. Beating Fang Zhendong, definitely a big sign. A long push to start the rally from Timo right into the rally. Leong Jinquin has been solid in the rally throughout, earns himself a second match point. Timo fighting to stay in it. You're watching this thinking Leong Jinquin is through. Oh, now he's through, now he's through. But no, Timo looking around Riley between the points. Looking, just trying to breathe and find some answers. It was up 5-2. These merciless swings. The furious shots from Da Pong. It's tied up second deuce point this game. Let 11 or. Wow, what a recovery. Okay. Popped up the serve. Timo spins it for placement. Leong Jinquin from under the table with heavy side and topspin. That ball right there does not come back. When I talked about a complete game, it's shots like this that show him so able to adjust. So versatile in his play for a guy who's been known to be all power and speed. Third match point. And there it is, Leong Jinquin takes down Timo Bull. Four games to zero. A high score here in the fourth, but nothing before that. This is the best I've seen Leong Jinquin in a while, and that's Quite a statement considering he just beat Fang Zhendong and went undefeated at the Austrian Open. So he keeps the streak alive. Starts off the round of 16 with a victory over one of the greatest threats to the Chinese team in the game. A solid handshake and a solid performance. Congratulations, Leong Jinquin. You've moved on to the men's singles quarterfinals. Stick around, we've got a little break and then we've got more table tennis action for you. A whole lot coming up tonight starting at 7 p.m. local time. That's an hour and two minutes from now. Maybe some words with Leong Jinquin. And after that, more table tennis. Down for the interview, stay right here. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We hope that you enjoyed the exciting matches today. We have now come to the end of our act. Congratulations, Liang Jinkun. Gong Xin Liang Jinkun. Today, you just won this match against Timo Bo. How would you think, how, what, would you talk, what would you say about your performance? You do a 
和波尔打赢这场比赛，你有对自己的表现有什么感想吗？啊，我觉得今天嗯打得非常好吧，毕竟也是第一场。啊，首先我觉得自己准备充分，还比较充分吧。啊，毕竟中国冠军赛也跟他打过一次，也是四比三才赢，嗯、啊，也是很焦灼。然后昨天也跟刘老一块看了看录像嘛，然后。总体来说，准备的还比较充分，然后上来调动也比较快了。So I thought I played well today.、Um, of course, the last time I played against Ball, I had I, I had to win four three, and it wasn't easy. But I thought I pre prepared well today, and、um, I think the moment I stepped on court, I was ready for it, which is why I was able to make a quick start to win. 嗯，那么这是你第一次参加啊决赛吧，对吧？ Um, 对自己有什么期望呢 um, ？This is the first time Liang Jingkun is actually participating in the World Tour Grand Finals. So we like to find out what he had, what kind of expectations he has for this event. Ah, I think, ah, the result is important, but the process is more important. Then, ah, prepare the process, and the result will be inevitable. Yep. So even though、um, the results are important. But I should enjoy the process as well. So if I prepare well for my games, the result will come, and I hope to be able to do well in in the future matches as well. 那恭喜你啊！希望在下一场你也能打赢啊！谢谢。Well, there you have it. Some words from the ever so fast and informed Liang Jingquan. You're watching the Seamaster 2018 ITTF World Tour Grand Finals. Stick around. We've got women's singles quarterfinals and more men's singles coming up at seven o'clock local time. That's 59 minutes from now. So set your alarms, get ready, and we'll see you in a bit.